Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be going over a quick demo of how HTTP traffic can be intercepted with a man-in-the-middle proxy server as this pertains to mobile apps. So today's demo is going to involve an app developed in Xamarin Forms running on an iPhone. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the MITM proxy web interface as well as the app running on my iPhone. So I'm going to go ahead and make a GET request to my server and it returns this response. You'll see that there is a status 304 because I've run this before and since it was cached it's not going to show that data on here. So whenever I run the POST request, it says POST successful, I can see the request and response details. So this could actually happen even on servers that are using HTTPS. The reason being is that even with technologies like App Transport Security, we don't have a guarantee that the SSL certificate pinning will be, you know, always run. So SSL pinning works by having the public key of your server's SSL certificate embedded within the app and then whenever you make your web service requests you'd verify that your embedded public key matches up with the server's public key. So there's a couple of techniques to do that. I'm probably going to go ahead and include a couple links in the video description on how to implement that yourself. And one more interesting thing that I noticed is that if I use the Xamarin managed HTTP client, which is the default, I actually don't see this JSON data inside of MITM proxy. But whenever I use the recommended NS URL session, which enables support for things like TLS 1.2 that the managed client does not have, I see that this data is being caught inside of MITM proxy. I'm not actually sure what's causing that. I'll probably have to dig a little bit deeper and see. And I'll probably, you know, do another demo except with an SSL certificate running on the server so I can show you guys that it's pretty much the same thing if you use HTTP in my case or HTTPS. So that's just a quick little demo of what you need to know about how man in the middle proxies can basically just steal data from an, an app. Um, keep in mind though that in order for this proxy to work you actually need to install a trusted root certificate from the uh, proxy server so once you have it running and you have it configured on your phone you actually need to trust that um, root CA and only then will your apps actually route their traffic and you know that that whole chain of trust will work otherwise I mean there's no way that if you used SSL that the app would let you you know bypass the the predefined system root certificate so keep in mind it's not feasible enough where you could just basically you know, enter in some proxy settings and not install a root CA because I noticed on when I tested this on Android devices under network settings it says your network settings might be compromised because it knows that there's a there's a um, un or a self-signed root certificate found so there are some security measures against it but I still highly recommend you use things like SSL pinning and also use the latest protocols provided by the OS level networking APIs in order to prevent data leakage because even though this isn't feasible enough for you know a, an attacker could could do this without having physical access to the phone it, it actually prevents basically API debugging so anyone with this downloaded app could basically use it on their own device to try to figure out how your API works as well as you know grab some some test payloads and you know figure out how the whole thing works so it's it's 
it's something you definitely need to keep in mind if you're using any sort of web service regardless it'd be restful and using json or or soap or whatever it's it's really a uh, a common issue so uh thanks for watching um a blog post regarding this will be also in the video description below um take care